What's up, everybody? Welcome to Coach Unchained. I'm the coach, and uh, today is November 1st. This is the NFL trade deadline. So if anything's going to happen today, it should have already happened. So, with that being said, if you guys can hit that subscribe button for Coach Unchained, hit that like button as well, share this content out, and, uh, you know, just help the brother get to that uh, 150 right now. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to head to 150. But before we get started with everything, man, let's pay a little couple bills, you know, for the AFN family here. Hey, if you guys can, head over to manscaped.com, put in that promo code AFN, get that 20% off, and you're free shipping on Manscaped. Any products there, you know, so Christmas coming up, birthdays coming up, you know, hook your man up or hook yourself up, whatever you want to call it. Ladies, you know, hook, hook the man up, fellas, hook yourself up, so... Manscaped.com, 20% off by putting in promo code AFN, and you also get free shipping with that. All right, so back to the Atlanta Falcons news. Today, the Atlanta Falcons have made some moves. You know, I had a feeling about one of them. You know, I, I mentioned it a couple of days ago about that. And, uh, yeah, it happened. So, didn't know who it was going to go to, but it happened. But first, let me get this one out of the way. The Atlanta Falcons have traded a seven-round conditional pick to the Kansas City Chiefs for cornerback Rashard Felton, you know, and it's helping Kansas City with, you know, a couple of, uh, so look, give them a little cap space, you know. But, yeah, we're going to send that seven-round pick over to um, uh, KC for this cornerback, you know, which is depth. We need we well it ain't depth. He probably come in and play play a little bit, but uh, yeah, man, um, that's gonna help out this team a lot. Bringing another cornerback in since we lost one for the year, and uh, yeah, man, that's where we at right now. So, but that's not the big story. The big story is that we have traded um, suspended wide receiver Kevin Ridley to the Jacksonville Jaguar. So that means he's going back home to Florida. And uh, the deal consisted of, you know, several things, which is um, by trading him to Jack was we in exchange for a fifth round 2023 pick or 20 and a 2024 pick uh, in the upcoming draft. So we're going to get a fifth rounder and a second rounder in 2024. I think what is this? Yeah. Oh, actually, a complex a compensation pick that can be worth a maximum of a 2023. Anyway, we traded Kevin Ridley to what's called, like I said, the picks are right now. I don't have them exactly what they are, but I think there's a fifth round, and it can be bet. It can be even become something better if he's uh, extended. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think the maximum is a second rounder. If he's extended, and I think that's in 2024. So, but yeah, with Kevin really gone, man, that freed up a little bit money there. So I think it won't help this year, but next year, I think the count was at 60. See, I think it was at 64. If uh, Ridley was still on the roster, I think now it's up to like 74 million. So somewhere in that range, I think it was 60 something. And then it's like seventy-four million dollars, so it's an extra eleven million, eleven to twelve million dollars extra on the cap uh, going into next season. So with that right there, we can get some people, man, break some people in here, you know. So however it is, man, we are uh, no longer have the Kevin Ridley uh, on our roster. So with that being said, man. The sky's the limit, but I think with that pick right there, it's going to help the Jaguars. They're bringing in a veteran wide receiver off the deal to go in with the little, uh, with the quarterback there at Jacksonville. But uh, with that, man, the Falcons are, you know, hey, we're doing what we got to do. But anyway, with those picks, man, we're done with the trade. The trade deadline is over now, so... Kevin really is now a Jaguar, and we have picked up a cornerback. I was shot Felton from Kansas City, man. So, you know, hey, 
let's move on, man. New Falcons, man. We, we, we're picking up things. We're not overspending. Hey. And also, I forgot one more thing. The Bills had acquired, um, well, we traded Dean Marlowe to the Bills for exchange of a seven-round pick, the one that we gave up to get um, the cornerback from KC. So we pretty much didn't lose anything. So we just pretty much got that seven-round pick back So by giving up Dean Marlowe. So... So Dean Marlowe is no longer on the roster. A whole new backfield, but this Felton kid, man, he's played some games. He he's he's a uh, he he he's he's legit. He's, he's he started some games. So as like I said, he can't be no. I ain't gonna say no worse than the young kid who we uh, played who played pretty good last week. So you know, hey, we we got a veteran in there to take over that spot for. Um, Casey Hayward right now. So, like I said, Terry, Terry Fondano, man, he's doing his thing, man. Like he's not doing anything, but he's doing something. So, I'm happy with the uh, pickups and the trade. And like I said, it's a good thing for both teams, man. We don't have to worry about that money that uh, Kevin, and that $11 million right there, we can sign Caleb McGarry now. Huh. Think about it. Caleb can be signed. And AJ can be signed, so that money there helps out a whole bunch, guys. So stay tuned, man. You know this has been a a um, hey hey a good day. You know, so let's hit, man, move on to the charges now, man. So man, like I said, thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share this content out, man. This is the coach. From Coach Unchained, and I'm out of here. Peace.